Good morning, Drozia. Welcome to the Mac Show. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your Facebook Marketplace listings when you're getting little or no views. It's a simple glitch. We have a few different workarounds, so make sure you stick around. I'm going to show you a few ways that you can do it. I'm also going to show you how you can boost your sales and get a lot of listing views on every single listing that you put up. So let's get into it. Okay, now before we get straight into how to fix this and the workarounds, I wanna tell you why you're getting zero or very little listing views. There's a few reasons, and it's equally as important as knowing the fix because otherwise you're just gonna set yourself up for failure again and again and again. And as marketplace evolves and changes in the future, you kinda of wanna have a bit of an understanding of how things work so that you can go ahead and then implement changes as they're needed. Now, there's two very different reasons for why you either get zero views or why you get little views. So you need to look at your post and, and decide what is actually happening. Is there a pattern between your current posts, your current listings? Are they all getting zero views or are they maybe getting 15, 16, you know, 12, 11, 30 views, but it's nothing like it was before, okay? You need to make that separation because that's very important in deciding what's actually happening with your account. If you're getting zero views, it basically means that your post has not yet been approved by Facebook. It's still in the review stage and you might have posted, you know, 10, 20 products and it's been a week and it's still stuck like that. It means there's a glitch in your Facebook marketplace, which there are a few workarounds. I'm going to explain them to you, but you need to understand the difference between little listing views and zero listing views. Now, a common error that people also make is they click on the post themselves to see and when they come back and check, it might have three listing views or four listing views. It doesn't mean that the post has actually gone live all it means is that you individually have clicked on that post and it will still count as a view. If you have a few listing views, we are going to go over how to boost those as well. But it's very, very important that you understand how to fix zero views yourself because if it ever happens to you, you want to be straight back on the ball and earning money. So let's get into tip number one on how to fix it. Okay, everyone. Now this is fix number one. It's very, very cool, and it is the location change fix. Now, there's a very particular way you have to do this, so if you've tried this and it hasn't worked, stick around because this is probably why, okay? Very important. First, you must delete all your listings with zero views. Do not try and salvage them and hope that they will work once you get this fixed. Because if you posted them three to four days ago anyway, what's gonna happen is when they do go live, Facebook is gonna still see that post as a aged post. It's not going to push them to the top and it's going to absolutely brutalize your marketplace account. So what you want to do is go ahead when you location switch, you want to delete all your listings first, then put up a brand new listing, something you haven't listed before and change your location completely. So if you normally list in New York, list one product in Florida. Do not change it back. Do not post anything else. Just post this one product. Let it go through the stages. Facebook will review it ultra fast. It'll go, it'll trigger something within the system. I'm not sure exactly what, but it has worked for me 90% of the time. Boom, Facebook will fix it. Then you can go back, switch your location, not on that post, but on your future posts and begin posting the products that you've had up before. Now stick around for tip number two because location change is only one of the ways that we can reset the zero view glitch. Okay, so tip number two is... It's actually a double tip because it not only is going to reset your zero view glitch for you, but it's also going to boost your seller score rating, which is very, very important. Now, I highly recommend not doing this on a mass level because Facebook's algorithm is very smart. Its AI is very smart and it will learn what you're doing um, and pretty much flag your account. But I have found to do this um, occasionally. It, it not only helps with resetting the glitch if the location change doesn't work, but it boosts your seller score rating. So the tip number two is the seller score rating reset. Now, what you want to do is basically list up a product with the normal glitch that you have now. It doesn't matter if it's going to get zero views. It doesn't matter if it doesn't get approved, but you can actually go into the post and share the link. What you want to do is share the link to either a family member, a close friend, or another account that you've created yourself. But do not set up the shipping option on this product. What you want to do instead is go ahead and list it as sale through messages, okay? Facebook can't track exactly how the payment's made. 
And so therefore, you can say that you have sold the product to this person when you've never actually sold it, okay? What's going to happen is you list up the product uh, very, very cheap. It doesn't, doesn't matter really the price. I find that cheap products, it doesn't tend to be looked over by Facebook as much. What you do is you share the link to your friend, family member, or your other account. You message back and forth between the two, and then you go on your original account, you mark as sold. Facebook will give you the option, did you sell to this person? You hit yes, then you hit request review. You get your friend or family member or jump back on your other account and leave a five star review. Okay, what this does is it pushes yourself back through the uh, rating system and Facebook's algorithm for some weird reason, again, unbeknownst to myself why, it likes to review your account, probably because it ranks you higher and it resets. I've found this has been a perfect workaround for the zero view glitch. Okay, now before we jump into why your product might be getting little views instead of no views, remember they're very, very different things. Before we jump into that, I just wanna let you know that we've been absolutely seeing incredible results with our Facebook automation package. People are jumping on board. If you don't know what Facebook automation is, basically it's where we come on board, we take over your marketplace account, we drop ship all the products for you from our private suppliers who set up private listings for us. It all has express delivery, so it gets there super quick. We'll pump your seller score rating up and we handle everything. We post products daily, we handle the orders, the tracking, and then we just scale you over time. If that's something you're interested in, hit the link below. That's a shameless little plug, but check out the link below. It's completely handled for you. Okay, now if your products are getting little views, not no views, but little views, maybe 16, maybe 30, maybe a couple hundred, but it's nothing like what you had in the past, or you've just started posting newly and you're only getting a few views, here's the reason, and it's a very, very harsh truth, this one. Your product is shit, okay? Something about your listing or your product is shit. It's not appealing to the general audience. Now, there are so many optimization tips when it comes to this. If you copy paste descriptions from somewhere else and do not make any edits or any changes, Facebook is going to notice that. It can read the text and it can say, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here, okay? It's going to demote your post. You Unique sales copy is very, very important, not only for the algorithm, but it helps you sell things. When something sounds unique, it sounds cool, sounds different, it's going to sell, okay? Number two is that your product photos are, you guessed it, shit. You are using white background photos. White background photos have been shown to work best for only two types of sites, really. The big sites like eBay and Amazon. Facebook Marketplace, think of your demographic. People still expect it to be like a garage sale type place, okay? They're looking for bargains, they're looking for thrifts. White background photos do not convert higher as your first photo. You can definitely have them somewhere in there to showcase the product and make it look more professional, but I always recommend that the first photo is either a very cool product photo or a UGC. A UGC basically just means user-generated content. So you've taken a photo yourself, or you've found a review online, or you've actually got a real review from someone that you can use, okay? These will rank a lot higher and they'll get you views on your products very, very fast, okay? These are the main reasons. There are no other reasons, okay? If you're getting little views, it's just that your product sucks. Damn. The only other Small detail might be that you're a new seller. And in this case, if you've only just started listing on Marketplace, your account needs to warm up. There is a warm up phase. I've noticed this through years and years of testing thousands of Marketplace accounts. Consistently post three to five times a day for a week. And after a week, you'll start to see that your account starts to rank better. Okay, and it's gonna push those sales to the top. That means the views will start pulling through and voila, your problem has been solved. Let me go off the camera for a second. I just wanna say, if you enjoyed today's video, I would appreciate you smashing the subscribe button and the like button. I'm gonna be dropping so many more marketplace videos for everyone on tips, optimization, scaling, the whole lot, you know, sales tactics, everything, how to scale into a brand of your own at a later stage because I am the marketplace king. I have been in this game for years, okay? I noticed from my analytics that the marketplace video videos seem to do the best by far, so I'm going to be sticking with mostly marketplace style videos. So make sure you smash the subscribe button, hit the little bell as well. Leave a comment of anything you want to see and I will post a video up next week. See you all then. Have a blessed and safe week, everyone. Oh, and make sure you check that link below. We can do automation for you. We can handle it all, baby.